is Diane Bish, and I would like to invite you to join us today as we take you on a musical visit of Rome, Italy. We will enjoy the sights and sounds of this historic city with masterpieces of art and architecture, historical buildings and churches, and of course, music as performed at the All Saints Anglican Church of Rome. Thank you for joining us. Rome, the great capital of Italy and leading center of civilization, has an amazing history and pageantry over the centuries. Rome's 2,500 year history is layer upon layer of antiquity, from the forums and Colosseum to Renaissance Rome erected upon medieval foundations.
History places the construction of the Roman Colosseum somewhere between 70 and 80 AD. It is estimated to have held over 45,000 people. This massive building was once used for all kinds of public spectacles, including flooding the floor of the arena and staging mock naval battles. Historians believe that at one time, there was even a movable canopy that could cover the entire Colosseum, which measures over 600 by 500 feet. With its supporting base of arches and vaults, the Roman Colosseum is one of the finest examples of the skill of ancient Roman builders and architects. Basilica is one of the most awesome and impressive sites of Rome. The original basilica was built in the early 4th century by the Emperor Constantine above an earlier shrine that was said to be the burial place of St. Peter. After 1,000 years the original basilica was torn down and the task of rebuilding a new one took almost 200 years, finally being completed in 1626. Among the architectural masters and artists who helped build the basilica was Michelangelo, who died before the dome he had planned was completed. The Basilica of St. Peter's is full of extraordinary works of art. Perhaps the most famous is Michelangelo's Pieta. Michelangelo carved four Pietas. This one is the earliest and best known. Two others are in Florence and the fourth in Milan. At the end of the central aisle of St. Peter's is the bronze statue of St. Peter its foot worn smooth by the kisses of faithful pilgrims and worshipers over the centuries. The bronze throne above the altar in the apse was created by Bernini.
Certainly a mecca of art and religion in the Vatican is the Sistine Chapel. It was here that Michelangelo, who considered himself a sculptor, not a painter, was ordered by Julius II to stop work on the Pope's own tomb and devote himself to painting frescoes on the chapel ceiling. Michelangelo, who taxed himself to the point of permanently damaging his eyesight, labored for four years on this enormous project. Although this work was undertaken against Michelangelo's wishes, it has truly become one of the most important contributions of his lifetime. It includes such famous scenes as the expulsion of Adam and Eve from the garden and the creation of man with God's outstretched hand imbuing life into Adam, bringing to mind the scripture, Lord, what is man that thou art mindful of him? city of fountains, one of the best known being the Fontana di Trevi or the Trevi Fountain, a spectacular fantasy of mythical sea creatures and cascades of splashing water. Legends say visitors must toss a coin into the fountain to ensure their eventual return to this magical city. Other famous fountains of Bernini include the Triton in the Piazza Barberini, and the Fountain of the Bees at the corner of Via Veneto.
In our musical journey of Italy, we have been inspired by the beauty of the basilicas and churches. One of the great hymns of faith, My Faith Looks Up to Thee, reflects the worship and inspiration that has taken place in these houses of worship over the years. My faith looks up to thee.
for joining us today as we have brought you a program entitled A Musical Visit of Rome, Italy. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you again next week on The Joy of Music. and the joy of music wish to thank Lufthansa German Airlines for their support in making this program possible.